Staying up in the far northern hemisphere in Europe, we sent Farid across the pond to England, where he got to know Eugene Ankoma, one of the most prolific visual artists in the country today. Of Ghanaian descent, this self-taught visionary has a quiet, humble, unassuming nature that belies one of the most unexpected and impressive range of artistic talent you will ever come across. I'm here in Bermondsey at the Salmon Youth Centre to meet a visual artist by the name of Eugene Ancoma. Now, Eugene takes visual art very seriously. It's in everything he does, everything he creates, everything he observes, even in the clothes he wears. In fact, this is some visual art that he created here with the local kids. It has been asked, what can you say about Eugene Ancoma? Well, in the words of one very experienced art dealer, it's extraordinary how talented he is. Words that have been echoed by fans of his art all around the world. Hello, Farid. How you doing? Good, man. Good, good, right. good to yeah, see yeah. you. And you. Yeah, welcome to my studio. It's amazing, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, as you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm going to be teaching you a couple of things to really? draw and stuff. So yeah. we're going to start now? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, I hope you're ready for it. Of course. OK, cool. All right. Well, there's nothing like a blank canvas to start with. So, Eugene, now this is one of your actual uh, personal techniques that we're going to work it on. It is, yeah. Um, I came up with this way of drawing a couple of years back and it's it's a really fun way to draw it's just um, drawing people drawing trees you can draw absolutely anything but um, the rule in a sense is to draw everything using either a letter or a number I've got a guinea pig I'm just gonna call on Kenneth um, Kenneth will sit here and basically I'll use Kenneth as an example okay um, if I start with his, his right eye mm -hmm. What I'm looking, what I'm doing is just basically looking at his eyes and picking out shapes which look as close to a letter or a number. Do most people actually see the letters and numbers in it or is it just um, a drawing and they look at it as a piece of art but not necessarily seeing that there's a two there or two there? I mean, that is one thing I love about doing this is the fact that um, people look at it and instantly, because we're so used to seeing lines, shape, that's what they see. Now, it's done. Um, and basically, there you go. It's amazing. So, a portrait of Kenneth. Okay, I'll, um, yes. I'll give it a shot. Sure. <clears throat> we started with the two okay. as the eye. Problem, yeah. Not so sure those numbers are adding up there, Farid. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Kenneth, you see, I... Yeah. Something happened. I'll tell you what happened. Something yeah. happened. <laughs> Something has certainly happened in the real art world. Eugene possesses that rare ability which enables him to turn his hand to many different artistic styles and forms with equal success. Well, obviously, you, you love black and white. You did some stuff with black and white, but colour plays a really big role in, in what you do as well, huh? Yeah, completely. I mean, I love the energy of colour. I love the symbolism of colour and what it means and what it can add to a picture. So basically here, what I've done is turn some Hollywood film actors. And right, I didn't see it's that. It's like okay, I'm yeah. trying to make them a little bit more um, spiritually heightened, so they're a bit more tribal almost. And these pieces here? You... Yeah, these pieces I call my cover-ups. Um, Cover-up meaning basically any story that could have multiple interpretations. Eugene loves experimental work. In 2008, he took part in a group show, an expo of artful dodges. And like the street urchins of the same name, he's also now taking to the streets and taking them by storm. Basically, um, I just believe that um, every situation requires a different um, way of thinking. Right. And by doing this, it just helps me to put my mind in a different frame um, of mind, just so that I'm maybe to create something new. So what happens now, Eugene? All right. I want you to stand there. Stand right, right there. Right there. OK. I'm going to create your my version of your shadow. Oh, cool. OK. Right. I have no idea what he's doing, by the way. He's so many stand here, so let's see. It was all planned for me. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, you made a call, yeah. huh? That's right. <laughs> OK. Cool. So I'm basically Sorry. a piece of art. You're a piece of art. You're part of it. You're part of Michael Jackson. You're a celebrity for a moment. How does it feel? It feels great, man. Excellent. This is brilliant. What Eugene's doing really is he's taking something that you love or something you wish you were maybe and creating it from your shadow just from the sun's direction. So he didn't know I was a huge Michael Jackson fan and that's what he got from my shadow. It really is an amazing form of visual art. And the streets of London are a great place for seeing all kinds of performance art and strange beings too. Street art in London is the invisible becoming visible. One of the great things about being in London is the, you know, the freedom of, of urban art. And the great thing is it's like looking at this, you know, Obviously, somebody created this. I could come around, add my own little thing on top of it, 
and it doesn't matter. It's almost like a on-scene collaboration. That's a fairly familiar silhouette. I wonder who he's trying to draw. All I can say is next time you're out and about in your city, have a look for the art, because one thing that Eugene has shown me is that it truly is everywhere.